For this very simple Gundam project, Ultron Gundam project, I purchased two of the Shenlong Gundam and one of the Gundam Exia. Each of these figures would cost $11.99 at Ross right now. Okay, so let's do a 360 view of the finished project. So very simple project that you could do, or actually I finished this in 45 minutes because actually what I just did was to from the, the other action Shenlong Gundam action figure I just took off the arm and took off the left arm of this action figure and popped in the dragon arm so both arms would be dragon arms but what took me 45 minutes was to figure out how this section works because of course if from this right side you're going to transfer it from the left side the bending part of the elbow that is quite perplexing so you have to find or figure out the way how it's going to bend and that's it so a little bit of hair dryer just on this section disconnect the forearm off take it off and rotate this section so the bend would be facing forward so when you bend that arm it's going to be good So that's the only obstacle with regards to this kit bash. Very simple kit bash. And to increase the fighting capability of the Ultron or the Shenlong Gundam, I thought about the pistol and sword um, main armament of the Gundam Exia. So, the Exia is going to be another project. I'll be thinking of how I'm going to tinker with that action figure to make it my own version, my own version of the Exia. But for the Ultron or the Shenlong, this is going to be it. So, very simple project. And with regards to this shield, all Gundam Universe action figures comes with that connector. In package so I just shave off plastic from the connector of the shield so it could fit in that hole so I could do with this or without it actually but for aesthetic value having a shield on this section well for display yeah but for play I could take it off and just play with the action figure. So, I could take that off actually. And from pistol to full broad sword. So, my Shenlong or Ultron Gundam has that close fight or CQB capability anyway this Gundam unit is a close fighting unit anyway so it was built that way so I just want or to increase the fighting capability of the unit by adding that sword and could even just fold it that way so he has a pistol Okay, so that's it. Very simple project for a very cold day. So I could um, have this spin on a rotating table that I have behind and enjoy my coffee. So if you like this review, like, comment, and subscribe to help me grow my channel. And see you on the next action figure or custom action figure review. Oh, past.
video addition so what happened to the other figure it's still going to be a Shenlong Gundam action figure so this one would have the extending arms or dragon arms this is going to be non extending arm version well of course sometimes playing with a um, feature like this wherein you want to move the figure around this part sometimes is annoying so I wanted also to have a Shenlong Gundam um, action figure that does not have that feature so I have the best of both worlds actually so I have a Shenlong Gundam and Ultron Gundam so this version does not have those extensions so just a found, found a way of making use of the available parts that I have so the other figure is not going to the parts bin so it's going to be a figure that is going to be loved and played with so these shoulder sections came from my Freedom Gundam build so where is that figure yep so here it is the other figure actually <laughs> so yep okay so that shield once again popped off and here we go so both versions 